Steam News. I'm Ashley. And I'm Jackie. Today on Steam News, MWR shines bright, earning a, na a National Recreation and Parks Association award. The summer's almost over, but it was packed full of fun at the Bounce of Palooza and theater events. We'll have the details from our on Zoom reporters. And speaking of summer almost being over, it's time for MWR's annual back to school bash. Then stay tuned for our sports segment with sports reporter Avery. <coughs> Whiting Fields MWR department has been nominated for the prestigious gold award from the National Recreation and Parks Association. Here to tell us more is MWR director Tom Kubaleski. Thank you, Ashley. Hi everyone, the National Recreation and Parks Association each year provides the Gold Award to outstanding programs in the recreation field. The Gold Award stands for innovation, it stands for a great way to um, develop your strategic resources, and it emphasizes community planning and working within the local organization. NAS Winding Field is happy to be a finalist for this year's award and um, we're looking forward to it. We are currently competing against a Marine Corps base in Okinawa, Japan, and two Army bases in Germany. Can you tell us what the Gold Award is? Sure, it's, well, actually, it's, it's gonna be a gorgeous, beautiful little trophy, um, you know, that stands about this big with our name engraved on it, if we are, in fact, um, lucky enough to be one of the winners. Um, and it, as I said, it emphasizes um, how well our recreation program has done amongst all the other recreation programs in the United States. Who is attending the awards? So the award ceremony will be held um, in September and myself and Katie Prestesater, our recreation director, will attend the National Recreation Parks Association Conference um, to see if we win and um, get to bring home the award. When will the winner be announced? It'll be announced the morning of September 24th at the National Recreation and Parks Association Conference in Baltimore, Maryland. Thank you, Tom. Over to Jackie. It's been a busy summer here at Whiting Field. To tell us more about some of the recent programs, we go to our summer fun segment with reporters Caitlin and Jaden. here today for Theater at the Library with Ken Armitage. What are we going to see here today? What we're going to see today is one of the scenes from our production of Three Fables by Asa. And we're going to do the first scene of the show, which is called The Lion and the Mouse. Who is performing in the play? Well, we have some very young actors, ages 7 to 14. We have two actors, uh, Remy Gonzalez, and uh, Laura Pavnar are playing the Huntsman. And then we have a guy by the name of Mitchell Phillips who's playing the lion. And then Emma Bone is playing the mouse. And of course, uh, the most character, um, so the most important character of all, is the uh, lady that plays Aesop. What is the goal of the theater workshop? Uh, the goal of our workshop is to entertain people and introduce young people to the theater and performing arts in general. 
Would you like to come to this event again? Oh, absolutely. It's a great show. Well, time to go check out the Play Three Fables, presented by the Panhandle Community Theater. I'm Caitlin Meyer. Back to you. Thank you, Caitlin and Jaden. Summer is almost over, and you know what that means. The school year is just around the corner. Luckily, that that also means what MWR is hosting their annual Back to School Bash. We have Lenny Nordman here with us to tell us more. Hi, Lenny. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you. How much, how much will this event cost for each family? Our Back to School Bash is free for all the families. How long will the bash be? Now the bash will last from 4 p.m. till 6 p.m. Everybody is welcome. What activities will there be to do? There will be so many fun things to do. Um, we'll have bounce houses, and we'll have hot dogs, we'll have games to play, hula hoop and cornhole, and we'll meet some new friends too. It's going to be a great opportunity. What age is this for? And this is open to ages from kindergarten until 12th grade. So if you're attending school this year, kindergarten to 12th grade, you're welcome to come on over to this free event at Navy Housing. It's Thank called Whiting Pines. Thank you, Lenny. Now over to AV for our sports segment. Okay. Thank you, Jackie. The sports team has been working very hard this year. And to tell you more, we have Mr. Todd Mooningham. Welcome, Todd. Thank you very much. Okay, what sports events are happening? We just actually finished soccer. VT2 won the championship 4 to nothing over Matsu. Um, we have a couple sports coming up right uh, soon. We've got softball on Monday nights. Game times are 5.30, 6.30, and 7.30. And we're always looking for extra players, so if you ever want to come out, please do so. Who's winning it so far? Right now, the team on top of our Captain's Cup standings is VT2. They're ahead of medical... I want to say by about 75 points, I believe it is. And then how many people do you think are attending? Um, actually, probably close to 50 or 60 usually for our different events. Uh, it just depends on what kind of event we're having. If it's softball, then we probably have close to anywhere from 75 to 80. If it's a smaller sport like beach volleyball, then it's closer to 30 or 40. Okay, thank you so much for your time today. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Thank you, Avery, and thank you everyone for watching. Reporting for Steam News, I'm Ashley. And I'm Jackie. Have a great day.